supply of 173. Uh, if so, if somebody wants to work with it, I've never worked with this stuff. It always looked too small to play with. Well, it's not for a KW. <laughs> Obviously not. No, I, mean, I mean, the only time I've seen the really small stuff is uh, that some uh, those little mini mag mounts and whatnot. And and it was my impression is that it was kind of yeah. it was it was a little, little lo it was a little lossier than other things, but it was in a place where you didn't. You might not have good matching anyhow, so you want to sort of fudge things. So, so, so anyhow, who wants the? Uh, let's see. You, did you? Did I give you one? Or no, I didn't. Uh, how about some other ten twos? Uh, not ten twos. Uh, six twos. I'll take a six two. Uh, uh, I'm not sure I have all the antennas here that I thought I did. Okay. And I have this one, which is can be used either for ten and two or six and two. Is anybody anybody interested in that? This is, this is an antenna you can use for ten, 10 and 2 meters and 6 and 2 meters. What? Yeah, basically you have two sets of extension wires, one for 6 meters and one for 10 meters. Uh, and uh, so that you attach whichever set of extensions. Is that which, a better one to go with? Or is it, well, it gives, okay, these, these antennas are, one, intended to give you a little hands-on experience working with this material so that you know what it's like to work with and and two to be somewhat on a on a temporary bit in other words these are like backup antennas uh, you would do things a little bit differently if you want to have a thing that's going to stay up in the trees for, for a long period of time uh, I would use different material but uh, if you want to have something, and one idea that I had, I, I was intending to uh, bring it, and then uh, I got it too tied up to. Uh, the six and two meter antennas, I, I was thinking, what you do, one way to, there's two ways. One is you hang it between two things, the traditional dipole, or short enough, you get a 10 foot piece of uh, PVC pipe and you attach it to the PVC pipe. Actually, what you do is you put a T in the middle and another one up, and so now you have the, the T shape and you have your antenna up in the air and you can rotate it like a beam. Uh, so is any, anybody interested in trying to build this conversion? Do you want to try it, Bill? No, whatever. Try it out when I go to the yeah. Well, it's, uh, this one has all the parts for it. Now, because there's fewer antennas being put, a lot of people are. Um, okay, this is a made antenna. The. Uh, one of the key things on doing electrical work is to have good tools. Andy brought some tools, and then did you uh, bring the letter line? That's what I've been handing out. No, I mean so we can make our own uh, from scratch. <laughs> Here, that's all that's left. That's all that's left. Yeah, I oh, had. I, I, I had bought bought it. Uh, Oh, All right. Yeah, he's just making trouble. What's the technology? No, it's not skeleton. What's the other term? The couple re couple resonator. Couple resonator. Yeah, it's called a couple resonator antenna. Uh, the key key tools is a good wire cutter. want to do uh, as uh, get the ends 
pretend this is the fade point. The fade point is in the middle. See a couple of cuts in the middle. Okay, you see some. Okay, you see uh, some cuts. Okay, in the middle, you'll find that there's a feed point and the wire's pulled out. You got to find some okay. other cuts. Yeah, that's the feed point. What you're also going to find is is that there's a place there's like there's actually a cut gap in the in one of the wires. Yeah. And the reason for the uh, cut gap. Uh, that's that's a separation from the folded back to the uh, higher the the other uh, band. Yeah, there's several gaps here. Yeah, yeah there's two gaps. There should be just two gaps. Uh, I got I got three gaps. What? Oh no no no. The, no okay, there's the, there's a pair. Of, the, the gaps are there's a there's a there's a two of them. Yeah. Okay. I didn't cut out the wire in between. The other on the other side. The wire in between comes out. Yeah, you can take that out. Uh, it's there. It turns, it turns out there's one problem with this steel line, this copper plated steel, is that in order for me to cut it, I had to use a bandsaw. And, and, and so there's a lot of people who do not have uh, machine shops handy to, to be able to do that sort of thing. What's one of those? <laughs> How much power do you have to have a Quarter watt. No, actually, I, I, I would assume that anything, I, I wouldn't run it, I don't think I'd run a kilowatt in it. But uh, what you can do, since the, the, the plastic will melt if it gets too hot, you pump it when it starts to drip, then you know that you Hey Andy? Yeah. Yeah, do you have your wire strippers to, to help uh, John over here? Do you here? want me to remove this little piece of the thread? I just I take this piece out. You can't you don't have to do that right now. No. Uh, what you have to do, okay, basically on these, you're trying to strip the end. Right. The, okay, the two ends, and then the, then the wires in the middle. And basically, the ends only have to be stripped it off so that we can bend them together. What are you doing? So, yeah, I'm confusing the U3 for the dimensions. Seeing as I thought he was going to have all the dimensions and everything here. Start spreading it out. And for the time being, because we weren't done doing soldering, I have some tape. All you do is tape over the end so as to make sure that it's making contact. And then in the middle, uh, yeah, we'll get it stripped and let's bend this out and then what we're going to do is for the time being I have some connectors that we're putting up on basically to uh, so that we can attach the, the coax. Um, I'll tell you what, well, I, I'm going to go get the coax. Uh, you get it. Okay, you want to see his antenna over there? Can we strip exactly in the middle on one side? It's already yeah. down. Yeah, it's all, all cut. So it's, all you do is just where the, where the cut is, just, just enough so we can get the connectors on. Uh, and then let me get the connectors. Yeah? On this, why the second cut there? Okay, this is a gap here. Okay, that's that's the specification in there. I just didn't take out the material. Oh, oh, okay, okay. In other words, I just made sure there's no electrical. But this is not going to be folded. This is not a fold. No, no, this is folded. No, this this is what oh, you have. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. This is your feed. So what is the reason why? Now, what we're doing is coming.